Welcome to Raw Online. Today's topic of discussion is lungs. The competency of this topic is identify site, external features and relations of structures which forms the root of lung and bronchial tree and their clinical correlate. Describe bronchopulmonary segments. Mention the blood supply, nerve supply and lymphatic drainage of lung. So coming to the lungs, the lungs are the pair of respiratory organs. They are located within the thoracic cavity on either side. So the lungs are covered by a pleura. The lungs are pair of respiratory organs. They are located within the thoracic cavity on each side. So this is the left lung. And this is the right lung. Both lungs are separated by a mediastinum. So this is the area for the mediastinum. So the mediastinum is occupied by the heart and great vessels. So the lungs are covered by a pleura. In adults, the lungs are crepitate and spongy in nature as well as elastic in consistency. They are sink in water, but in case of stillborn, they float in water. Coming to the external features of lung, I am going to discuss the external features under the following subheadings: shape, borders, surfaces, root, hilum fissures and lobe. So coming to the shape, the shape of the lungs are semi-conical or conical in shape. So it has apex and base and borders, the lung has anterior border, posterior border and inferior border. The shape of the lung is conical in shape. It has apex and base. So this is the apex of the lung and this is the base of the lung. And it has three borders. Anterior border which is located anteriorly and posterior border near the vertebral column. And this is the inferior border of the lung. This area is for the inferior border of the lung. And let's see the surfaces. Lung has two surface surfaces. Costal surface and mediastinal or medial surface. The surfaces of the lung are costal surface or lateral surface which is related to the rib cage. So the costal surface is otherwise known as lateral surface and medial surface. And this area is the medial surface which is related to the mediastinum anteriorly and vertebral column posteriorly. And lung has root and hilum. Root is a short pedicle that connects the both lungs and keeps the lungs in position. It is mainly formed by the bronchi and the vessels and nerve, nerves and lymphatics. Hilum are the structures, a hilum like a passage where the structures enters and leaves the lungs. So hilum is the structures entering and leaving the lung and fissures. The lung has two types of fissures, oblique fissure and horizontal fissure or transverse fissure. Right lung has these two fissures. This is the oblique fissure and this is the transverse fissure. But the left lung has only one fissure that is the oblique fissure. So let us see the lobes. So the right lung has three lobes, upper lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe. But the left lung has only two lobes, upper or superior lobe and lower lobe or inferior lobe. So this is the overall idea about the external features of lung. Once again I repeat, the lung is in conical in shape. It has apex and base and it has three borders, anterior border. This is located anteriorly. This is the anterior border of the right lung and this is the anterior border of the left lung and posterior border which is located posteriorly, which is closely related to the vertebral column and the posterior aspect of the ribs. And it has three uh, two surfaces, costal surface or lateral surface, which is closely related to the thoracic cage, mainly by the costal cartilages and the ribs. And medial surface. The medial surface, again subdivided into two parts, medial part and vertebral part. Medial or mediastinal part and vertebral part. 
So the mediastinal part is closely related to the mediastinum and the vertebral part is located posteriorly. And the hilum and root, the root of the lung is mainly formed by the bronchi and the great blood vessels that is the pulmonary and the bronchial vessels, nerves and lymphatics. So this root is supported the lungs in position. So the root is helps the lungs to keep in position and hilum, hilum of the lung is where the structures are entering and leaving the lung. And fissures, there are two types of fissures, oblique fissure and horizontal fissure. So this is the oblique fissure of right lung and this is the oblique fissure of left lung and this is the transverse fissure or horizontal fissure. This fissure is present only in the right lung. So the right lung has three lobes, superior lobe, middle lobe and inferior lobe. The superior lobe is otherwise called as upper lobe and inferior is lower lobe. The left lung has only two lobes, upper lobe and lower lobes. Let's see how we keep the lung in anatomical position and side determination. So at the time of your practical examination, you have to keep the lungs in anatomical position. For that, this is the right lung and this is the left lung. So the apex, apex of each lung should face is above. So apex of lung should be in the superior aspect and the base, the base of the lung is otherwise called as diaphragmatic surface. So the base is otherwise called as diaphragmatic surface that should face is inferiorly. So the first point is apex should face is above and the base should face is below. Then this is the anterior border of right lung. This is the anterior border of left lung. So the anterior border should face is anteriorly. So for example, how will you identify the anterior border of right lung and left lung? For the right lung, the anterior border is more or less vertical. But for the left lung, the anterior border, can you identify this notch? So this notch is known as cardiac notch. So the cardiac notch is present in the left lung because to occupy the left ventricle in position. In previous slide, you can see 